if my husband had an affair, would I leave him? And the answer is yes, I would. I do believe that it's better for the child for the parents to stay together. <laughs> There's no man who's gonna cheat on me because I am a queen and I would be out the door. Just don't ask, just don't tell. I really don't want to know. My husband had it down, like, don't tell me about it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not saying that. No, I'm getting all pissed at him and it didn't even happen yet. Hi, Daphne Brogdon from uh, Cool Mom. Uh, so I'm pulling my topic in sort of a, I guess it's kind of a tabloid thing. Um, Cause gosh knows I love to read them. Uh, there was all that stuff recently about John and Kate plus eight and whether he'd had an affair. And then also on Oprah recently, Elizabeth Edwards was talking about uh, how she's dealt with her life following, uh, came out that John Edwards had had an affair. What would you do? I mean, I think Elizabeth Edwards has her options somewhat open because if they got divorced, she would, she'd get a pile of money. But uh, you know, and you gotta think about the kids and all that stuff. I mean, isn't affair the worst thing that can happen? I don't think it necessarily is. Back, you know, back in my 20s, I was have said, oh, there's no man who's gonna cheat on me because I am a queen and I would be out the door. But, you know, like you said, Daphne, things are a little more complicated now, right? If my husband cheated on me with a member of my family, say, or a good friend, that would be one thing. Over a game of pool, Robert Redford offered me a million dollars to sleep with him. That might be something else, you know? It's a million dollars. Actually, today is Scott's birthday, and I was joking with him earlier today that uh, I was going to buy him a woman for his birthday. He didn't seem to think that was the best idea. I find it hard to answer this question because there's no context. My pat answer is to say no, I would not leave my husband if he had an affair. We would try to work it through and um, figure out what the cause of that affair was. I mean, you know, like most people, I believe that if you have an affair, it's there's something going on, right? There's something wrong in the relationship. Oh goodness, bless all your little hearts because y'all are so sweet with how you answered and you're so nice and good. I love you all so much. For me, I wouldn't be able to do it. I would not be able to do it at all. I, I just, I look at it as though my trust has been breached and I have such a really difficult time regaining trust for someone once it's lost. I want to know what kind of affair it was. You know, is it uh, just a one-nighter, a drunken fling? Uh, was it a, uh, a make-out session with an ex? Or was it uh, one of those like, he's been living with her in another apartment for 10 years and they have three kids? I always kind of figured like, if my husband came home and he's like, oh, I was in Vegas and oh, I got kind of drunk and well, there was this hot little prostitute or girl at the bar or whatever, like that I could kind of work past that. If it was, oh, I think I'm in love with my secretary, that's a whole other issue. I kind of have the same uh, policy that Clinton had with the military. I'd be like, just don't ask, don't tell. I really don't want to know. My husband had a daily, just don't tell me about it. I grew up in a home where marital infidelity was the norm. And I saw a lot of stuff happen that a kid my age should not have seen. One of those instances being uh, when one of my father's girlfriends was drug up to our front porch by her hair, uh, by her husband in fact, and uh, brought to meet my mother. Yeah, I never had that. <laughs> That's an experience I've never had. That's pretty horrifying. My parents are still married, uh, married 43 years now. You know, I don't know if that helps um, me formulate my idea that, you know, I'm in this for the long haul. There's some divorce in my family. I mean, I'm, my parents are Catholic, my family's Catholic. I'm not really a practicing Catholic. So I can't say I'm really strict about the no divorce ever um, scenario. I do believe that it's better for the child or the parents to stay together. I mean, if they're miserable, uh, that's not good. You know the old saying, well, if mama ain't happy, then nobody is happy. I would not be able to remain in my marriage and be happy. As a child who, Grew up in a home where my parents' marriage was like that, although they divorced when I was young. Um, seeing that, I was so glad that they that, that my mom and divorced him. I was so glad. It, it was hell on earth. Frankly, I get why people stay with a husband even after that kind of transgression. I had a, a fiance years ago who had some dalliances, um, and I was very upset, of course, but I didn't break up with him over that. Because I just kind of figured, like, oh, in the the length of a relationship that's going to happen at some point. Of course there are people who cheat on spouses and uh, and that sort of thing, but you know, if I went into my marriage 
uh, sort of thinking that my husband was going to cheat on me because all men cheat or whatever, I, I wouldn't have gotten married. I mean, that's I, why why get married if that's sort of your um, your outlook. Karen, you're right that you can't go into a relationship and immediately try to plan okay well let me get my let me plan for all of the things that are gonna happen that are bad it's not naive at all for me or anyone else to say well you know our husbands just aren't those type of guys it's just we're secure in our marriage and that's not a bad thing i took the Louisville and slug it to both headlights slashed a hold it all four times maybe next time you think before he cheats you're welcome. The conversation is happening now at momversation.com.